is the fundamental flaw in thinking when business owners, organizations are looking to go from seven to eight figures. Uh, between me and my partners here, we've done it five, five or six times, okay? Cross that seven figure mark into eight. And here's the thing, you need at least two personalities, maybe three, to make that jump. It's no longer about quick implementation, marketing, sales, angles, right? It becomes a focus on, after about a million, right? We get to the million a year, the focus needs to get shifted to internal operations and a heavier load gets placed on the operator or the scalar type. That is a different personality. The person that brought the business from zero to seven figures is a different personality than the person that's going to take it from seven to eight. Both are important. Okay, so I used to build business and burn it down and build business and burn it down because I am the quick starter. I am the zero to seven figures guy. And it wasn't until I pulled on the seven to eight figure guy, the eight to nine figure guy, right? That's my operator, my C my CEO and my COO who has trained another COO, right? And that is the big shift that's going to help is after a million, you don't go it alone and you don't do it with somebody that has the same propensities as you, right? You may be able to play both roles, but not effectively at the same time. And so what you need for seven to eight figures or high six to get to mid or high seven is going to be the operator type, the scalar type, the person that knows that this little lever is going to have this huge exponential impact and you're going to get year over year growth, okay? Little hinges swing big doors, but you will never identify that little hinge at that mark if you are the quick starter. On the flip side, if you're not the quick starter, you're going to need a quick starter to rapidly implement and test new ideas, right? So the point is you don't go it alone. You want the CEO, COO, integrator type. It may be two people if you're lucky, I'm fortunate I have a team of unicorns that can play both roles, uh, but they're not me. So understand that if you want to stop hitting that ceiling, right, hit the ceiling, uh, pivot, hit the ceiling, pivot, hit the ceiling, pivot. If you want to end that cycle, you need a CEO, COO, and you need to focus heavily on operations because when you get to that 10, 20, 30 million mark, the marketing and market share is is much more competitive and you want to have rock solid uh, operations so that you can focus back on on the branding stuff, right? So think about that. Hopefully that's useful. Hopefully it, it helps you uh, bridge that gap, right? Cross that chasm from, from seven to eight figures.